A superb setting and a big crowd for one of the biggest games of the year in North America. The senior final with the Ulster Club in yellow all the way from San Francisco going for a first ever three in a row and going into the Lions Den in Boston against local favourites the Shannon Blues. Ulster won with a seriously impressive performance. They are a level above everyone else. They have raised the bar and shown how good the game can be outside Ireland. This is our All-Ireland club here in, in the North America. And this is like winning the All-Ireland club three in a row. Cross Midland style, I suppose you could say that. But like, of course, being an Armagh man, I'll say that. But that's kind of what it's like. And we, we strive every year to put good teams out play good football in a disciplined way and just try to try to win every day like fair and square you know but and I, I'm just delighted I'm just delighted Look Joe if you had said to me uh, 2011 that we were going to win three in a row after what happened Mark McGovern and the whole thing you know like you, I would have told you you're mad in the head but just to go ahead and win three in a row and look Jerome, to be honest, we're not finished. Like we're still here. We're going for four in a row. We're going for five in a row. We're going for six in a row. We're not finished. We have a good, strong club, strong home base, and we'll keep winning. You know. The senior hurling final saw Galway Boston take on San Francisco, with former Galway All Ireland final goalkeeper James Skehill delighted to win a medal in North America. Yeah, ex excellent medal to have. You know, we didn't do the business last week. Uh, we played the, the Boston final here and uh, got beaten by a better team in the day. But today we kind of dug deep and, sh and uh, did the business. So I'm delighted for the people who are, who are home based here. So it's a good finish of the year. You're enjoying your summer out here? It was a great summer, a great experience. You know, I always wanted to do it but never got the chance because I was playing with Galway. But this year uh, the chance came up. So I couldn't, I couldn't leave it behind me. And a great summer, made some, a lot of good friends, good people, genuine people. So I'll take them home for life. There was an emotional finish to the Junior C hurling final, with Worcester proudly aware of their Irish roots. My great-grandfather, um, Jerry Egan, came to the States. He founded the Hartford Club, and uh, I started playing two years ago. And, you know, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have probably had this opportunity to play. And I'm just proud to be part of the Worcester Hurling Club. Talk to me from your hearts. What does it mean for these boys to win that, to win an Irish tournament here in Boston? Words can't describe it. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty unbelievable. It's just amazing. In ladies football, there was a local winner in Boston, Tiernanog. It's a great feeling. Um, you know, when you, when you uproot from home and you come over here, your football team is it's literally your family. So, you know, you, it's, a, it's a very tight-knit group. And, you know, it's only there's nothing on in the winter, so it's all the summer, and you put a lot of effort into it, and it's it's, it's great to finally finally have a Boston team out of it. You know, it's uh, it's a uh, definitely great great day. One, two, three. Arog! Arog from Boston won the senior Camogie title after beating Toronto. Hurling and Camogie have surprised some by their popularity across the continent. But the Camogie president has a simple explanation. I know why. It's a great game. You know, it's, it has gone from strength to strength. Football is always easier to sell. It's easier for people to play football. Uh, the skill for the, the hurling, if they don't get it, they don't stick at it. At home, we take it for granted. It comes naturally, you grow up with it here. It doesn't come as naturally to them. So it has grown, you're right. And I think it's grown because they have seen it and they actually can, can uh, combine it with lacrosse and they see the connection with it. But it has gone from strength to strength. A huge amount of teams here this year, which is great. And let's not forget the homegrown Irish talent. Like in Dallas, where players from fierce rival counties at home combined to make history. Tyrone and Derry working in perfect harmony in the forward line for Dallas. How come you guys have put your county rivalry aside to do so well here today? See, that's a tough question. Growing up, I never thought I'd be happy to even see or be near a Derry man on a football field. But for some reason, coach put us in there together and we kind of clicked early on and it worked. First medal in a long, long time. Ten years. And I think it's the first, means a lot to all of us there. Some boys there's never won a medal before. This is massive for the club, a massive left for the club. We started this club five years ago, four, four or five years ago. Well, a bunch of hodgepodge people. That, some of them didn't even know what a ball was, you know. How Irish lads at home, that farmers like and city boys that were never kicked the ball, come out, we just trained them up. Every year we get a wee bit better. That's a sentiment the GEA president himself 
agrees with. Not only is it getting bigger and better, but the quality has improved dramatically too. Um, I'd be uh, really heartened by the junior teams, but the teams that are comprised of people who are born here and have took up our games. Um, at the moment we're watching the senior final, that's a different arrangement. We have people coming over and that doesn't give me the same buzz. The buzz here is uh, the link with the what's happening with the, the youth movement, the continental youth games uh, and the fact championships and the fact that uh, there's a career path now we feel for children who start playing if the North American board uh, accept uh, the fact that playing people born here is better than playing people from over from Ireland. I'm not saying that, that the people who are originated in Ireland and live here, I'm talking about those who are brought over for the weekends or the summer. Yeah, I've met players who've been playing nine or ten years because they started at CYC and now they're playing adults. Yeah, and that's just really, really exciting. And even what's more exciting, Jerome, is that we now have adult women playing camogie and playing hurling. We knew they could take up Gaelic football, but I've spoken to a 50-year-old from St. Louis this morning who took it up as a 40-year-old, and his only regret is that his career will come to an end quicker than the number one. And it's lovely to see that. Hey, Gunnar's President-elect, what have you got out of your visit here from the North American Finals? Well, once again, I've got out of it that our games are special and our games are fantastically unique. I've just come from a match there between the Barley House Wolves and Allentown Hibernians, and most of them are all American-born, no connection to Ireland whatsoever. I'm speaking just as I came over to do this interview with a young man from St. Louis, and uh, the only group, the only ethnic group in St. Louis that gets together are the Irish because of the GA and because of the games. That's the connect for everybody. So it's just absolutely wonderful. And everywhere I go, people speak about the GA being a big, happy family. People from San Francisco meet guys from Boston and they just go over, clap, their ha clap them on the back, as I was saying to you last year, and the conversation continues. So it's a, it's a wonderful worldwide GA diaspora. It actually is. It, this is actually one of the biggest. Um, I mean, there has been, there, there was 113 teams gone and went into the draws. There's uh, exactly 100 games being played over the weekend. So uh, there's a lot of work that goes in that, uh, with officiating, but uh, a lot of the work is done by the host committee. I mean, in, in years gone by, um, the previous cities that have hosted it have, have obviously put in immense work, but the, uh, the host committee here this weekend has actually done a great job. Things have been running smoothly, and uh, they're the guys that really have, that, that have set the ball rolling for this weekend.